Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. Are you in the mood for an unboxing? I sure am. We're going to be opening up Curated Bee Box for the month of May and I can't wait to see what's in it. The last one was really nice. I really love the colors. They were very spring-like colors and I made a gorgeous piece. If you haven't seen the tutorial, I'll put a link down below in the description section of this video. Now, if you're not familiar with Curated Bee Box, I'll leave a link to the website down below so you can go check it out. It's a really wonderful box. It really is. And if you're looking to build up your stash, this is the box for you. But anyway guys, I'm very anxious to see what's in it. But before we start, I want to remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I'd really appreciate that. It helps my channel and it helps me as well to stay motivated to create more videos for you. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And look who just showed up, my beautiful Boo Boo. I absolutely love him. He's such a good cat and he's very clingy. All he wants to do is get on my lap. <laughs> so let me put him on, on my lap. So there are two things happening with him. He's a senior cat, he's 16 years old. And the other thing that's happening with him is that he has kidney disease, so he's not feeling 100%. And cats that don't feel well get very clingy. Not every cat, but some cats do. And this one's been a lap cat his entire life, and now he's more of a lap cat, and I love it. Of course, I wish he was feeling better, but he's hanging in there and we're taking it one day at a time. So anyway, guys, I'm very anxious to see what's in the box. Let's go ahead and turn the camera around and we'll get started. And here we have curated bee box for the month of May. The name of the box is Ebony and Ivory. So I guess the colors are going to be black and white. And you can see by the image. That's one of the things I like about this box. They always give you a little preview. And it looks like this is a piano keyboard. That's interesting. I guess that's why they called it Ebony and Ivory. And down here is a list of the contents. They always list the sizes of the beads and the length of the strands. On the right side are the model numbers. So if you ever wanted some extras, you could go to the website and look for them under those model numbers. And that would be the dollarbead.com website. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let me pull it out. Definitely black and white. And it looks like we have some silver medals as well. Let me get organized and we'll go through each item. And here are the larger beads. We have a strand of 12 millimeter size beads and a couple of strands of 10 millimeter beads. Let's take a look at these. These are called crackle spray beads. The color is iris. And I'm trying to figure out why they're called iris because to me they're clear glass with a black paint effect. I'm not sure, but they're pretty anyways. They kind of remind me of the spots on a Dalmatian dog. But anyway, like I said, these are 12 millimeters in size and this is an eight inch strand. Very nice. Let's take a look at these now. These are also crackle beads and the color is crystal. They measure 10 millimeters in size and it's an eight inch strand. And they're actually reflecting a little bit of yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe it's the lighting, I'm not sure. But they're very pretty regardless. I love that crackle effect, it's so beautiful. Let's take a look at these. These are called gemstone style glass beads and the color is white, but it's not a stark white, it's more of an off-white. And these are also 10 millimeters in size and it's an eight inch strand. I love that gemstone effect. I don't know if you guys can see that. They really do look like gemstones, but they're actually glass beads. Very, very nice. Let me get some more beads. And here are the smaller beads. We have eight millimeter beads and six millimeter beads. Let's take a look at these. These are actually gemstones, but I don't know what kind of gemstone it is. It's just listed as a white gemstone. And I'm not an expert on gemstones. So I'm not gonna guess what kind it is. But anyway, this is a seven to eight inch strand. So there are quite a few here. And they do have some little inclusions and things that I can see. Very nice. It goes along with the theme of ebony and ivory. And let's take a look at these. These are called tourmalinated quartz or tourmalated quartz. I've seen people pronounce it in different ways. It's supposed to have a lot of black little specks and I can see a few here and there, but the majority of the beads are kind of white in color and this strand is seven to eight inches long. I'm really happy that they gave us gemstones this month. Let's take a look at these black ones. These are glass beads, but they do look a little bit like gemstones because they have a couple of colors. I don't know if you can see that. They're called marble style glass beads. And even though the color is black, I'm seeing some white as well and maybe a little bit of gray. But anyway, this strand is 16 inches long. And like I said, these are six millimeters in size. I'm getting some ideas for a bracelet. These would actually make a great men's bracelet. Let me get some more beads. Here are the next few items. Let's take a look at these metal beads. I'm gonna thread them on my rod. And here are five of them. 
we get a total of 35, so that's a generous amount. As you can see, these have a filigree design, and they're silver in color. And these filigree beads are listed as 10 millimeters in size, but they actually look a little bit bigger. They look more like 12. One of the things I like to do with these is to insert wire through the holes and then insert another piece of wire going through the other holes. In other words, you could have these on a strand like this and then have another piece of wire going this way. And that's what I've done with this one. I don't know if you can see that. There's the hole but I actually have the rod going through one of these other openings. So that's one way to use them. But I really love that beautiful open filigree design. And I like that we get 35. Let's take a look at these now. These are faceted glass beads. They measure 10 millimeters in size and we get a total of 15. And as you can see, they're white in color and they're very opaque. And the facets are kind of smooth. They're not sharp facets. And the color of these beads match these perfectly. We'll, we'll take a look at those in just a moment. But anyway, we get a total of 15 beads. So that's another generous amount. Let me thread these on my rod. Boy, these are really big, aren't they? But as you can see, they have faceting similar to the ones I just showed you. The color is definitely the same. These measure 30 by 18 millimeters. So you definitely want to use these as a focal on a necklace, for example. I don't think you want to use them any other way. Whenever I'm working with a large bead like this, I'm tempted to do some wire work. I don't know if that's what I'll do, but that's an idea. Let me get some more beads. And here's some more loose beads. We have this very pretty designer glass bead mix. And I love these faceted oval beads. But these have me really intrigued. I like that silver stripe through the middle. Let me put some on a rod. And here are eight of them. I'm not sure how many we get because it's not listed, but we get quite a few as you can see. But aren't these cool guys? Look at that. I really like that stripe. They're not uniform stripes. Each one is different. I love that kind of effect. But anyway, these measure eight by six millimeters. So that's a nice size. I'm so happy that they included some smaller beads this time. It's so much easier for me to design something when there's a variety of sizes. So I'm going to have to think about what to do with these. It should be a lot of fun. Let's take a look at these now. Here are four of them. We get a total of eight. Look how sparkly they are. They're so sparkly. These are called faceted oval glass beads and the color is crystal luster. And these measure 14 by 10 millimeters. They're oval, but they're flat on the ends, as you can see. Whenever I see that, I'm tempted to use bead caps. I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing with these. I love that luster effect. It's so beautiful. And we have a variety of shapes and sizes here. Let me just put some of them on my rod. I think I threaded on one of each kind. I could be wrong because there are so many. The only ones that I couldn't thread on were these here. They have a very tiny hole, but it's not drilled all the way through. It's only drilled halfway through the bead. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use these. Maybe I'll just glue them on some kind of design. But anyway, guys, I love this variety. There's so much to choose from, so many sizes and so many shapes. We have some that are opaque and some that are clear and some that are smooth and some that are faceted. And some are actually coin shaped, like this one right here. I don't know if you would call it coin shaped, but it's flat on the sides. So you could pick and choose or you could use all of them in one design. That would be really cool. Let me get some more items. And here we have the last two items. I do need to show you the finding starter kit though after this. But as you can see, we have some metal cones and we have three key charms. Let's take a look at the cones. These are really pretty filigree metal cones. They're silver, as you can see, and they measure 22 by eight millimeters. And there's a total of 10. And actually there are two here. Let me just pull it out. For a minute, I thought there were different size metal cones, but they're all the same size. Now, some people use these on beads, like a bead cap, but I actually like to use these for earrings with some dangles hanging down from the bottom. I've also used these on necklaces. I like to thread multiple strands through this end and then have one strand coming out the other end. There's all kinds of ways to use these. Let's take a look at one of these key charms. It's a very interesting kind of key charm. It measures 42 by 16 millimeters, and there are tons of little openings up there. So you could hang little charms, or you could attach strands to them. I'm getting all kinds of ideas right now. I like that there are three. Let me get the finding starter kit now. 
and here it is. As you can see, it's silver this time. Usually you get either silver or gold. Let me show you what it has. We've got some memory wire here. And I believe it's 60 millimeters in diameter. We have some lobster clasps. There are four of them. We have some crimp beads. These are the round crimp beads. They're not the tubes. We have some stretch cord and it's really thick stretch cord, which means you can use it on big beads. We have some ear wire hooks, and I think there's a total of six there. So there's enough to make three pairs of earrings. Here are some jump rings. These are six millimeters in size, and they're very thick jump rings. I love the curated bead box jump rings. They're very thick and very strong. And here we have some beading wire. I think there's at least 36 inches worth of beading wire. And here we have some head pens. These are flat head pens, and they're very thick as well. So if you're a beginner, this is a great kit to have because it definitely helps you to get started. It doesn't have everything, but it has some of the main things that you need to make jewelry. Let me bring out the entire collection now. Well, here's the full collection, the ebony and ivory collection. It's very different compared to the last boxes we've received. The color scheme is definitely very different. I don't think I've seen a black and white color scheme from Curated Bee Box. Usually they have some kind of color palette, but it's nice to have something different. I think it's good to break away from the usual and work with something different. But I love this month because they included gemstones and they included all kinds of size beads. And that's going to make it very easy for me to design something. So I'm going to have to see what I can come up with. And I just noticed these faceted beads have large holes, so I could potentially use them on leather cord. But I think my favorite are these beads here. I really like those. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Let me put these away and I'll come back and say goodbye. Well, what do you think guys did you like this collection i know i'm going to have a lot of fun designing something it does take me a few days though so i want you to keep coming back and check my channel for a tutorial and if you have some recommendations about what i should make i'd love to hear about it please leave some comments down below if you have time thank you so much for watching i'm looking forward to seeing you again have a great day and i'll see you next time bye